what's good everybody welcome back to yet another video so welcome everybody and thank you so much for coming and stopping by and watching this video and i hope that it does help you in one way or the other so basically as you might have noticed so well if you are a regular in the channel or if you have subscribed good morning you will have realized that i was doing a mini boot camp um information series uh for the past two episodes so in the previous the latest not this one i have shared a list of boot camps in south africa together with the type of you know training or with the type of, of training that they, they they do like for instance others do full stack others do um um back end development uh a whole lot of things right so also i would like to also highlight the importance of uh, knowing what it is that you want it's very much important uh, before you start a boot camp you need to make sure that you get into the right boot camp right for as much as yes you want to be a developer and whatnot but it's also very important crucial whatever to know what type of a developer you want to be I guess that's one of the this I mean advantages for a university students that you can be any type of developer that you choose to be. Um, so, for instance, if you want to be a network engineer, you could be just straight from varsity. Um, compared to boot camps, they like very specific. So, if you are doing a network engineering, that's what they cover. So um, I'm not saying you cannot be a software developer or an engineer just because you did network, but I'm just saying that straight out of varsity, you could be any type of engineer that you want. Well, in terms of like software, computers, da da da, da you get the job. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about, or rather, giving a brief description as to the type of software engineers sort of uh, that you could find so like i said it's very important to know beforehand before you join your bootcamp because if you want to be a data analyst what are you doing in a full stack developer uh, bootcamp so it's very very important for one to do research and 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 know themselves as to what it is that they want to do so basically that's what we're doing in this video <laughs> video yeah, because I'm running to say in that song period. Okay, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so in at number one, we have a front end engineer, right? So basically, this is a person who uh, works with the user interface, who works with the uh, um, client side. So that is your actual um, user interface. That's your buttons, the way your your front end will look basically it's self-explanatory front end developer so that's the person so for instance if we're going to use a system like a youtube right for example example um so we would mean that the way youtube looks the person uh, who's responsible for building that would be your front end engineer so basically if you're someone who's creative who loves visuals um um and, and and all of that shebang so basically you can you know get yourself into that you know um i won't say graphic design but i'm just like hey, you wanna lead. what are you talking about <laughs> but anyway if you're a visual person love um you know ordering like you just love the user interface you love um it's literally like building come on if you are a creative person like myself um i'd like to think that i'm quite creative so if in that regard you just love visuals so that could be for you actually next up we have a back-end engineer okay so a back-end engineer this is the person who works with the actual logic of the actual system the performance um you know connection to databases that is um the apis basically that um make sure that everything works the way it should so that goes from things like when you click a button knowing what needs to happen and uh, for instance you would see on youtube that there's the calculations 
uh, that reads stuff from the database and brings it back to your front end, the actual logic of the system that would then be a back end engineer. So if you are that person who just DJ wants to um, solve problems, well, front end engineers also is a solving pro problem solving. <laughs> but like if you're that person who wants to, you know, like writing all those actual functions as to the functionalities of the system. So um, not sure if I explained that correctly, but like that's that on that. So in at number three, we have a full stack developer, which I mean a full stack engineer, which is myself. I mean, guys, come on. <laughs> I mean, for as much as I've spent a lot of my professional career as a back end developer and all so a year and a half or so professionally as um a full stack developer so even in my own personal capacity i'm a full stack developer so basically a full stack engineer is a person who does both back end development and front end development so this is a person who was going to build a youtube as it is like build the front end of it the back end of it everything fully functional web application and that's that on that that is that is then what you would call a full stack developer so i mean if for instance maybe you are looking or maybe if you want a more um what you call a more beautiful definition of what a full stack developer look at me <laughs> So next up we have quality assurance engineer and this is a person of some sorts that does the part to be done okay so basically this person writes software that's going to make sure that the systems or the other softwares that have been written are performing a top quality to make sure that uh, the quality check do you understand the the existing uh, the systems or basically the functionalities that have been built by your back end engineer and your front end engineer or full stack engineer so basically it's just to check the quality of the work done by those people so they go from um writing automate automated um test tools and programs and all of that and we appreciate that so much i mean where, where i worked right so we used to have like testers but my thing is now when you have to fight a tester you have to you have to fight a person and this time around if we had like a, a qa engineer who actually built a software we would literally question the validity <laughs> and, and and the integrity of the stuff of, of the software because I never write code that crashes like my code is always 100% top quality I mean and that those are facts you know those are facts okay so next up we have your DevOps engineer okay so now this is the jack of all trades I must say so this person administers the application infrastructure database to servers to back end to everything okay, so like I said, that they're jack, jack of all trades. I'm not sure if they master anyone, but anyway, as collab. But so basically, these people have so much knowledge around um, technologies that are used to build systems, right? So these are the people who know about deployment, who know everything in and out, right? So yeah, so basically, when there's problems, they literally would be the first people to identify, see whatever 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 and i'm not sure if they provide solutions but yeah if whenever you want to be a jack of all trades and master of that be a devops engineer i'm kidding but um yeah basically it's along those lines so they just know everything right um which i like the concept but it sounds stressful i must say it sounds stressful okay so next up we have a security engineer at some point i wanted to be a security engineer because at some point i was at some point at some point i was very much um intrigued by the whole um security chapter 
so when we were doing operating system was it operating systems yes and then it was learning about cryptography um and all of, and, and all of those things i was very much like so intrigued and wanted to be a security engineer but anyway so basically this is the person who specializes or rather is the one person who creates um systems procedures to test the security of a software system right and exploits it and fix uh, any flaws that are there uh, so basically this person would, what would be what we call a white hat that would be like an ethical hacker and to basically um, penetrate the system basically compromise try to compromise the system right to just discover some vulnerabilities and find ways to improve and make sure that the system is secure okay so last but not least we have a cloud engineer so this is a, the type of person who builds and maintains a cloud infrastructure everybody that is the video for today thank you so much for watching so hopefully you did learn a thing or two i mean like that's not everyone but yeah guys like yeah <laughs> i won't go through everyone but anyway thank you so much bye